Moving on to a player that won't be around for a couple of weeks is Mike Acevo, who has done it again. This bloke needs to work on his tackling technique. He's been suspended. Uh, people were saying that he shouldn't be because it was a trial. I disagree with that vehemently. They were saying that what he did last year shouldn't count. Again, the rule is 12 months before it gets wiped clean, so it had to count. This bloke rushes up, tries to put a hit up, connects a bloke on the head, has now left Parramatta in a terrible position because with the greatest respects to the players coming through, they're a bit short out wide. Yeah, look, it's an... It's an ugly tackle. It's careless. I saw people say it was reckless. I don't think it was reckless because I don't think he had any intention to go out there and smack AJ Brimson in the face. But it was careless. He rushed up out of the line. Now, I know people are saying, oh, but he's tall. That's not AJ Brimson's fault. Nope. That Mike Acevo is taller than him. AJ Brimson is running the ball. He's not expecting to cop a shoulder to the face. Now... As if this was his first time and he was copying three weeks for it, you'd say it's a little bit harsh. He probably deserved a week, right? But he's got seriously, and, and this is the you know, he's got Steve Maddai syndrome in the fact that he wants to rush out and put the shot on. But Steve Maddai had perfect technique and perfect timing. This is what Sevo doesn't have. He could have just as easily ran out on the line and just given him a bear hug. Didn't need to put that big shot on there as well. So I hope that Sevo finally takes this on board and goes, you know what, something's got to change and the rules aren't changing, so it's got to be me. Parramatta without their star winger for three weeks and instantly when I saw that, I was having a look at when we played Parramatta and here was me really, really disappointed that we didn't get them in the first three weeks because he normally scores a try and kills us. Um, but, you know, at the same time, Parramatta are, are without this. Now, do I agree that he shouldn't cop this suspension now because it happened in the trial? No, absolutely not. He's done it in the trials. If there was a trial this weekend, I would be saying that the first game should count. Um, and then he should miss two NRL games. But it's just unfortunate. Just like his timing in the tackle, the timing of round one, got to miss your time. Completely agreed. Uh, he's had enough warnings and fixed your tackle technique.